What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Al Chemix. As always, my name is Tommy Paul. And today we're going to be looking at one of the world's more esoteric categories of cocktails, and that is dark rum cocktails. Now, we decided to go with an aged rum as opposed to a rum that was just dyed. So the spirit of the day and the one that we're going to be making all of our cocktails with is Bacardi 8. Now, this is a group of cocktails that requires a dark rum for its flavor profile. So without further ado, here's five dark rum cocktails. All right, first up we have a cocktail called the Roosevelt, named after Teddy Roosevelt himself. And the story goes that after a 15-month trip doing uh, some wild animal hunting in Africa, as he was known to do, he got greeted in New York with this cocktail named after him. 1.75 ounces of dark rum to start and three quarters of an ounce of dry vermouth and quarter ounce simple syrup and another quarter ounce of fresh squeezed orange juice. That's it, and uh, all I gotta do is give that a stir. Well, once everything is stirred up properly, we are going to just strain this into a cocktail glass. and serve this with garnish with an orange twist. And that is a Roosevelt. All right, next up we have arguably one of the most popular dark rum cocktails, at least here in the States, and that is dark and stormy. Now this is a drink that we can go ahead and just build in our highball glass. All you're gonna need is a uh, full two ounce measure of our dark aged rum. And we'll just fill our glass to the rim with ice and top the rest of the way with ginger beer. Now there's two potential options you can go here. One is to top with bitters and the other is to add lime juice and you can also do both. I like it that way every now and again, but today we're gonna make it the simplest of ways and that is just dark rum, ginger beer, and then we'll just garnish with a wedge of lime. Add our straw here and that is a dark and stormy. All right, next up we have another presidential cocktail, except this one, rumor has it, was named after the dictator of Cuba, and it's called El Presidente. It's another stirred drink. What you're gonna need, 1.5 ounces of uh, dark rum, three quarters of an ounce dry vermouth, you're gonna need an orange liqueur. I've seen the recipe made with Grand Marnier. We're gonna use uh, dry curacao for this. And then just a bar spoon of grenadine. That's it, ice our tin, give it a stir. This cocktail is gonna be served up as well. We'll put it in a martini glass. This is gonna be garnished with a twist of orange. And that is the El Presidente. All right, next up we have a shaken cocktail called a corn and oil, named after its contrast for light and dark colors. 
start out with a full two ounce measure of our dark rum. Half ounce of fresh squeezed lime juice. And half ounce of Velvet Falernum, which is a rum-based herbal liqueur. That's it, three ingredients. We'll ice our uh, shaker and give that a shake. Now that that's mixed up, I'm gonna double strain into my chilled rocks glass. Grab some new fresh ice cubes. Top with bitters. Garnish with a wedge of lime. And that is uh, corn and oil. All right, we're gonna finish off with my favorite dark rum cocktail and one of my favorite cocktails, period. It's called a honeysuckle. Anybody that knows me knows that I love honey syrup. It's a simple, uh, straightforward, Recipe, one, two parts spirit, one part sour to one part sweet. So I'm gonna pour a full two ounces of my uh, aged rum. One ounce of fresh squeezed lime juice. And then between three quarters of an ounce and a full ounce of honey syrup, I'm gonna use about three quarters. I just like my cocktails more citrus forward, but don't feel obliged. Now what we're gonna do next is uh, ace our tin and give that a shake. Sounds ready. All we have to do now, double strain to my chilled coupette. It's uh, essentially a daiquiri with dark rum and honey syrup. And uh, all there is left to do, garnish with a nice wedge of lime. And that's it. And that is a honeysuckle. All right, everybody, there you have it. Five classic dark rum cocktails. We're coming out with content weekly. So if you don't want to miss out, click right here to subscribe. You can watch our first rum video right here. And click right here to watch our five old-fashioned variations video, five absinthe cocktails right here, and five tequila cocktails right here. I'm Tommy from Alchemics, and as always, cheers.